Hi, this is Clyde Dowdy Jr. Today, we have the Big Apple Youth Football League Super Bowl VII with the New York Warriors taking on the Hurricanes of Staten Island. The Hurricanes will kick the ball over to the Warriors. This is YSN, the worldwide leader in youth sports coverage. We'll be right back. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. We join the game in progress as the Warriors run a sweep to the right side. The Warriors come back with a sweep to the left side. We're going to go down the field and join Larry and Edmund on the sideline. I'll see you at the end of the game. 7.43 left in the first the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Super Bowl Saturday. Super Bowl 7 here at Big Apple Youth Football Conference in Brooklyn, New York. This is a presentation of Youth Sports Network. And a fumble, let's see who gets the ball. Hurricanes trying to put themselves on the board. Messed up hand and he still goes on and yeah. still plays the game. These, these kids are playing for the fun and for the love. You know, they're not playing for the check. Offensive line did a great job there making that hole. Warriors trying to get a turnover on down, see if it, see if they can reach that, to that point. Great game going on here, the Hurricanes and, and the Warriors. Hurricanes, actually, this team is the defending Junior Pee Wee Division Two champions from uh, from last year. They, they stepped up to the Pee Wee Division, looking to make their quest back to Florida. Yeah, and actually, they actually lost to the. Uh, they actually lost to the Warriors in the Super Bowl last year. So here's a rematch for the, for the Super Bowl from last year, uh, basically. And I'll tell you something right now. Hey, and I'll tell you something. I really get a, a lot of excitement and enjoyment in these games because you're looking at the city's best, what the city has you know, to offer. And some of these guys are going to see playing high school football very soon. I, do, I actually absolutely do not doubt this. I believe the Poly Prep Scouts is here, right? Yes, he was. Speaking of uh, city's best, who's the best quarterback in the city, uh, Coach Courtney? Uh, right now, the 12 year division. If you talk about 12 year olds, you gotta talk about, you gotta be talking about uh, Raymond here, yeah. Coach. Wow, Stacy Liddell, what a run he made! I mean, I mean that guy is just unbelievable. You see that run? Both teams setting up. Hurricanes right now seem to be just shooting themselves in the foot. Both teams setting up their respective lines. See, pass off play. My goodness. <laughs> and a turnover on downs on behalf of the Hurricanes. Great defense by by the Warriors. That's a great job by the Warriors right there. They they were playing for the Florida trip basically and they've been they held them they held them right there in the end in the red zone. We've seen a lot of fumbles today, and like I said earlier, I believe that's because of the weather. It's cold out here. You know, your hands get get cold, get a little numb, and it's hard to feel that football. Second down, Warriors coming at. And incomplete. The Warriors look like they're gonna come 
out here and do what, what brought them to the big dance. They're going to pass that ball. Well, Coach Edmund, you've seen this team throughout the whole season. What's is their passing game their strongest point, or do, do they have a better running game, or they're just a combination of both? No, the Warriors are a passing team. Uh, they have, like I said, uh, their quarterback, Kevin, is like, he's got to be the best quarterback in the PB division. If, if not the best, he's in the top two. And, you know, they, they got to come out here and try to throw the ball. He's thrown for three touchdowns in at least one game this season. And, you know, that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna come out here. They're gonna run the ball a little. But they're gonna when when the game's on the line, they're gonna put that ball in, in little Kevin's hands and let him do what he does best and throw the ball downfield. Playing a little tight in the fir- in the first quarter, but I expect them to to warm up, open up, and it's gonna be a, f- a phenomenal game, as Coach A. Leaf would say. Yeah, these Hurricanes are actually look like the Miami Hurricanes, the college football team yeah. down to down south. Punt like that, we like to call poison. Let our kids know to get away from that football. Because they touched that ball, or the Warriors could have recovered. Right. That's why the, the coaches were all a little, a little antsy on the sideline there. All right, end of the first quarter. 0-0, zero, zero. what a game. Both, both playoff contenders, both Super Bowl contenders now, both undefeated season. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an excellent game in our hands. You're watching the U Sports Network. We'll be right back. We are back at the second quarter. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're at the second quarter of the Super Bowl matchup between the Staten Island Hurricanes and the New York Warriors. We are Super Bowl Super Bowl Saturday today, ladies and gentlemen. And we are in the Pee Wee division between two awesome contenders. As the Hurricanes start running the ball. They got five more next week for the Metro Championship. Then they got regional play. Oh, deep pass! Oh! Unlimited. Oh, that's amazing. My, my, my high school actually did not have high school football. Yeah, a lot of schools here in New York City don't have football. Oh, Stacey Bedell! He has one running, running all the way! Woo! Wow! Wow! Well, I see, uh, I want to just, I saw the uh, Brooklyn Renegades coming in, fumbled the ball. <laughs> Warriors ball, two yard line. And there's Kevin Johnson giving the pass off number 21. Ooh. Oh, what a tackle there by number five. And a pass and play, great pass. Oh, shotgun now. Right under the shotgun. Got the ball. Johnson. My goodness! Oh, another drop. Let's see another running play. Another pass. pass play. Incomplete pass. The wall. Now off here could be a touchdown. Let's see. Who gets it up? It's like a pass and play. Long pass, long pass. Oh. Pass to number 22, Stack organization. They had every team in the playoffs. Almost every team was undefeated this year. It's a great organization. Right, Here come the Hurricanes. But they, you can tell their coaches worked on defense this week, worked on tackling and the fundamentals to make sure that their kids came out here ready to play. What a fake. Here come the Hurricanes. Here comes number five. Five. Slicing, my four Warriors. Got a flag on the play. I see a disadvantage, distinct disadvantage. You see, you see. I think the quarterback takes advantage. No, he doesn't. Running down the middle. Here we go, go. Stacy. Any? Wait.
Hurricanes in the gun. Here comes number 10. Bad snap. Oh, and right, that looks like a fumble. It was a, it was a bad snap on extra point. Hey, I've always said extra points are critical and close and important games. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. Touchdown before this quarter, before this half is up. And here's the kick. Oh, it's between his legs. Picks it up. Here comes number 10. Here comes number 10. Still uh -oh. running, still running. One man to beat. Still running. Oh, and he got caught. Oh. Warriors coming to the offensive line. It's a pass off play, number 27 oh, goes Tackle down. in the backfield. This half's tied up. Good pass, number 10 running now. That was a screen. Both teams at their respective lines, 344 left in the half. Excuse me, let me correct Kevin that. Kevin Johnson. Jackson. And looks like incomplete. It looked like it bounced off the floor there. Save they hit their running back. Kevin Johnson with the pass. Deep pass number two. Oh! oh See if they can capitalize on this. We have a flag on that. Out there. Right. Here come the hurricane. We got a sweep. 254 left in the half. Here come the Hurricanes. Good pass and play. Stacy, oh, look, look, look at vision. this running play. Oh my God. Oh, one man to beat, but he made that tackle. Here come the Hurricanes. Here comes Stacy. One man to beat again. Stacy, you got a lead blocker. Oh, it's, oh. oh, he gets tackled. And again, punching one, it in 115 the left on the clock. Here come the Hurricanes. Trying you to put them here. He has two. Oh, he has a and this, is a, back. this looks like a touchdown. And he's in the end. Listen up, guys. You got to get this extra point. Extra points are critical in big games. And they get it. And they get it. Stacy gets it. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. Time adjustments, they come out strong in the half, and I think that's what we're gonna see here. It's kicking play comes number two. Number two. There's a flag on the play. How many kids we have playing big apple football? Oh, this is a, this is a great play here. We call this play yakety yak. Yakety yak, and he gets oh, it. Oh, number it. ten running. What I tell you, number ten. What a great job! See what, what happens here is the guys line up in the regular huddle. Coach yell, yells at the kid, "Get off the field! What you doing on the field? You ain't supposed to be on the field." All the kids don't pay attention to him anymore. They say go. The kid runs down the field and throw the ball to him. That place called Yakety Yak. I've run it four times this year, all successfully. That's my favorite play. To get in that end zone. They come. Get in there now. That that yakety yak play. That's that's the play you want to try to get in the end zone on. Okay, 81. He has one man to beat. Cut it up. Did he make it? He made it. Them. 
it was about the execution, and now the Warriors are executing. There's another passing play. Quick, quick slant to number 10, Mr. Jackson. Well, we have a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. You're watching Youth Sports Network. What a great game. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. All right. Good kick. Here comes the hurricane. Okay, we have 19 seconds left. Two potent offices, as we talked about. Right. Defenses are looking good. Uh oh, we got oh, a deep what a pass. Awesome play. Let's see if it. Oh no. There you go. Now they take a knee. Maybe close. Here we go. Him on the ball. And a flag on the Flag on the play. You know they had a great, pheno a phenomenal season. He's gonna hold the ball. Yep. Exactly. Half time. Thirteen. Seven. That's the end of the half, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching New Sports Network. And football fell out of the stand. <laughs> football off the tee, huh? A little windy out there. That's why, you know, has been too many complete passes. Right. And here's the kick starting off the second half. Here come the Hurricanes. Uh oh, kid is still on his feet. Number five. Wow. It's called the older lighter. They can be 114 pounds. Going to the Warriors. I can't wait for this next game to come up. Like I said, it's Mel meet Mel. Mel from the Springfield Rifles versus Mel from the Brooklyn Renegades. Hey, I saw the Brooklyn Renegades walk in, man. They're little kids. They're mighty mighty. Six, seven, eight-year-old kids right. had on shirt and tie. Unless you play in private schools, obviously, Catholic schools, yeah. you're going to see, you know, they wear their certain attire. But when it comes to public schools and extracurricular leagues like this, you don't see that much. <laughs> Might even say he's off the wall. <laughs> that kid, woo! Ow! <laughs> Number 10, here you go. He's lined up to the left. Between the 20 and the goal line because they've been getting the benefit of the Warriors' penalties. Right, absolutely right. Here you go, like I said. Passing, what look, look, a Kevin passing to, play. To, is that Number to, 10, he's on his Mr. way. Mr. Jackson! Oh! Mr. Jackson, oh! Whoa, whoa, what are we going to have there? He put the ball on the carpet. He was down, he was down. My God. What an amazing vision by the quarterback. Wow. Johnson has some tremendous vision for a little bit. Number two. Pass to number two. We have a great ref crew out here today. We even have referees on the change. What other youth football uh, league would, would put referees on the change to make sure everybody knows what they're doing? Two balls. We have no mishaps today. Downfield. Well, it's worked so far. I wouldn't blame them. Right. We have number 10 split to the right now. All that defense that was just like swarming everywhere, just he just still managed to pe just like pull said, this pass off. If you mark my words, when you watch the Giant game tomorrow, they're gonna talk about the quarterback being able, being able to throw the ball to where only his receiver can get it. And that's what Kevin has the knack of. He can throw the ball to where his receiver, only his receiver can get it. Oh, we got a deep pass. It's number ten. Oh, interception! Oh, Stacy Liddell, that was Mr. Jackson versus Stacy Liddell. Is what vision, cut back across the field. Woo! Stacy Liddell, he's good for another one today. Hey, let me just tell you about that pass. 
organization that they know the Warriors can come back Absolutely and they're right. not going to allow them to come back because they're going to keep keep the heat on them they, they, they know the importance of this game and no good that extra point does not count 19-7 third quarter 707 left you're watching YSN exclusive home to youth sports There it goes, that right into the hands of number 27. 27. Uh-oh, he's shaking. He's shaking. Oh, he's still on his feet. Yo, he's going to the outside. 27 what a block. running what hard. A block. 27 still up. He got two. One kid. Oh, he's tackled. Hey, did you hear that hit? Those boys are out for a national, national championship. Team. This game is our second game of the day. We have the Chiefs up 19-7 on the New York Warriors in the Pee Wee Division Championship. His. We got another pass. Oh. Let's see if he pulls it off. Oh. Well, Jackson at least prevented that interception from happening. Especially a player with the just the division that Jackson has. I I would I would personally, if I were Kevin Johnson, I'd just throw him some short passes so give him more of a chance to run the floor. Both teams setting up their respective lines. A handoff play. Nice double dive there. Hurricanes lined up in the gun again. Uh oh, fumble snap. Oh, Stacey Liddell with. Wow. More shake and bake than. <laughs> up KFC. down the. Ain't look at no. look at that. Look there at that. He goes. He sees it. He sees it's it. It's over. That's it. There ain't no one's catching up to that kid. Oh, breaks the last tackle. <laughs> Stacey Liddell. <laughs> This point of the game, what I would say nothing's impossible. I've heard, I've seen uh, Lil Kev come back before. And we have joined us in the booth, Coach Courtney Pollins, Brooklyn Renegades. Courtney, this kid Stacy Liddell. Hey, I told you before last week when I was down here and I was saying to you that what was going to happen was Coach Barnes would take that playbook out of his hand and would not have the opportunity of doing anything crazy. He's going to take that playbook out of his hand, and that's what happens. And uh, Coach Sam, in fact, who's the president of the rifle, I mean, of the Hurricane program, he's right here now. I'm going to bring Coach him down, here, down in the booth because I said that he was going to take that, uh, he's going to take that um, uh, playbook out of Coach Andrew's hand. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. And Coach hey guys, Sam with us. Right now, we've just been able to, to, to cover the pass a little bit better. They've been going up top. That's their big home run play. So, you know, we've been practicing stopping that. And we've just been riding ooh-wee. We're just riding ooh-wee right now, Stacey Bedell. I'm not even comfortable with three scores right now. We're playing with the score, and our, as far as we're concerned, it's still 0-0, zero, zero, and we're going to keep playing football. Hurricanes, they have the ability to come back, and as far as, they, as the Hurricanes are concerned, according to Coach Sam, it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Wow, what a run. Sweet by number two. 
And a pass, pass short pass. We got us. I'm talking about quick pass to ten. And oh, what a what a move! What a move! Taking the tape on the open out out the field with these kids. And his first and goal. It's in the counter touch. Now Warriors. Warriors showing signs of life. Both teams just excellent contenders. Both teams excellently complement each other as they try to get the one point. As they try to get the one point. Yes, they get the extra point. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. Trying to come, trying to come back, trying to make this game, and we have a flag on the play. We have a fumble. And here's Kevin Johnson again. Going to pass. Short pass and incomplete. He's looking to get that ball quick. And here comes Mr. Jackson, tackled. Let's see. Looks like a foot looks like a fumble. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. And right. they need to run this clock out in the third quarter and get to the fourth quarter with the ball in their possession still. It's money time now. This is it. It's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. Twelve minutes left in somebody's season. Exactly. Twelve minutes can make a big difference. A big difference. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. Well, Stacy can't get him outside. Can't turn that corner. It's crunch time, ladies and gentlemen. Fourth quarter, 26-14, still anybody's game. Pass off, oh, and the Hurricanes picking up Mr. Jackson. Wow, Mr. Jackson. What a turn. I don't know how fast they could get down on him. Exactly. He's stopping again. Kevin Shotgun. Oh, he's tackled. Twins right with number 10 and number 2. I think 10 is the go-to guy right here now. It's a good pass. Oh, pass to 81. my goodness. The six-point game. Extra point is no good. That looms big. That extra point not being good. They could have pulled it between five. They'd have been down by five. You're watching YSN, exclusive home to youth sports. Hand on this kickoff. And there's the kick. Okay, kick. Uh-oh, good kick. It's over their heads. Stacy picks it up. They say call him ooh wee, but ooh tackled. Stacy. See, see the Warriors can pull over. All right, we got Stacy left. He's getting tackled by the Warriors. Oh wow, Stacy. Oh wow, that was not oh, a fumble. Kevin Johnson has the ball. He throws it 
throws it. Nice. Until, until four minutes left. There you go, it's a screen. Screen at number two. The plot, and he's coming down. Little Kevin is shotgun. There he was, goes. He was looking left all the way. Oh! Incomplete pass. He was looking left all the way. Sweet. Tackle in the backfield. Uh oh, bad snap. It's crunch time right here. Wow, what a game. The Hurricanes punted all today. They've had problems with their long snapping. They got number 10 in the center. Sweet. To Stacy, he's tackled in the end zone at the same. He takes the safety. You have to switch sides, yes. Gonna go down to the. I believe we're going down to the last second in this game. There goes the kick. Goes the kick. Number two picks it up. Here we go. Wow, he always slipped. Ooh. If he didn't slip, then like he might go. We were both teams at their respective lines. Hurricanes ball. Ball to 27. We go between the tackles. Modest game. Second down and. Less than least amount of time. Roll back to 27. He's trying to go outside. He makes it. He hits the corner. It looks like he might have that first down. Oh. Look, they switched, they switched 10 and 81. I think they're going to run to the right now with 27. 27 to the right. Nope, they're looking to throw the pass instead. Let him look at the move. They won't move. Good job. Throw that ball to the test. What Here's a shake right here. Right. Still running. Still first down, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 27 yeah. left. He, he hits the hole. Second and six. He goes in this direction. 81. First and 10. Glorious ball. First and 10 from about the 15 yard line. 27 goes go, up, 27. he's on the feet still. Like I said earlier, you gotta do the pee pee dance. You cannot go to the bathroom. You cannot remove your eyes from this game. Kevin Johnson. Oh, he's oh. sacked! Kevin was looking left the whole play. That will make champions. Ball on the 16 yard line. I tell my kids all the time, champions finish strong. Champions finish strong. That's what I tell you, 81 under center. He's keeping that ball. He's going. He's still up, he's out of bounds, number 10. There we go. Number seven. Place. Coach A. Leaf is getting ready to get his kids ready. He has the Junior Pee Wee Championship coming up. Coach K, it's up in the air. Oh. If the big pass, we have a flag on the... And they just fall a little short. As you said, to the last second. The kid jumped over. Trying to get that football. That's game. Coach Drew was dumped. They dumped the Gatorade fucking on him. <laughs> and the Hurricanes, Hurricanes win the championship. Hurricanes. Hurricanes are the 2007 Big 8 champions. Congratulations. Staten Island Hurricanes 26, the New York Warriors 22. And let's go down to the field.
to Courtney Pollins for some post-game interviews. Hi, I'm Courtney Pollins, and uh, welcome to Big Apple Football Network. We're here at the Super Bowl. Great game. Coach Andrew, you did a, you did a great job. The upset of the year, possibly. What do you, how do you feel about this? Hey, I knew it was coming. Hey, I thank my kids for that. This wasn't a coaching job. This was the kids' job. Thank you, Coach. Now we go back to Courtney with the MVP, Stacy Bedell. Stacy, you had a great game, over 200 yards in total offense very easily, and in addition to that, interception and the touchdown. We were so impressed. Broke your hand last week, seemed like you had a serious sprain. All of a sudden, you rejuvenate. How do you, how do you feel? I feel happy. And the injury didn't bother you at all? No. You know, me and Coach Emmett said, whoever your doctor is, we want that guy to work on our bodies when we get older because it seems like you came out <laughs> even better, faster, and stronger. We're so proud of you. Uh, what does this mean to you, this victory? It means that Florida bound, baby. <laughs> Sports Network is produced by One Stop Productions Incorporated. For more information about the U Sports Network, go to www.usportsnetworktv.com or call us at 718-479-0623.